Welcome, you want to watch Australian television overseas, then you found the right video. I'm going to show you with several TV channels how you can watch outside of Australia, no matter where you are. First I'm going to show you the error message the channels give you, you're probably familiar with this. Then I'm going to show you quickly how to solve this and afterwards I'm going to explain in detail why you're blocked and how uh, the solution works. And let's start with ABC iView. Here I'm on the website and if I try to play live, I'm getting this error message. Sorry, there has been a technical error and they don't even say what the exact problem is. Also, if I want to watch one of these videos on demand, I have a problem. If I try to go to 9now, I also get an error message. Sorry, 9now is only available in Ost Australia. Then 7 plus, I also get an error. We are experiencing a technical issue with 7 plus. They don't even say why there is a problem. But also here SPS on demand. Sorry, this video is only available to stream within Australia due to publishing rights. And then 10 play, site unavailable. Well, so what can you do? Below the video in the description, you find a list with good VPN providers. You just click on show more or just choose the first one. Uh, this is a paid service. I will talk about free VPNs and other solutions afterwards, after I explain the solution. Um, the ExpressVPN, by the way, is available for all devices, for your phone, tablet, router, whatever, PlayStation and so on. Also just for the browsers, if you prefer. Let's just show how it works. So here I have the software installed and I can choose a location. And so basically, well, if I want to watch British television, I can choose a location in the UK. If I want to watch Dutch television, that's possible. If I want to watch US television, for example, if you have a Netflix account, just log into the U US, like choose one location. Don't just click on the generic US thing here. Or you can also watch Canadian television, no matter what kind of television you want to watch that's possible. And now we want to watch Australian television so we can choose one location within Australia. So just a tip, don't just click here. I mean, of course you can do that and it might work, but in some case it, in cases it might not work. And then it's much better to just choose, you know, like some location here. So now I'm connecting and in addition to connecting me to a server in Perth and accessing the internet in Perth now, my complete internet connection is super highly encrypted. As you can already hear, some TV station is already playing now. It's kind of strange. Ah, I think it was 7 plus. Anyway. So I reloaded the ABC live player. And what's happening? And now I can watch the ABC live TV. I go back here. Oh. And let's try 9 now again. But I have to warn you, I cannot go just to, uh, I cannot just reload this page because it sent me to an error page. So I have to go back to the original 9 now website. And now I'm reloading. And as you can see, now I can actually access this website. Let's try the live TV. As you can see, it's loading. But I cannot show you too much. But this is all due because now I'm accessing the internet in Australia. Let's go to 7 plus. And I'm choosing just like the first video here. I'm clicking on play. And now it's loading. There is no instant error message. And well, now there's some advertising, but afterwards the program starts. 
And as you can see, now I can watch the video. Let's go to SPS. Let's reload this page. There's a nice documentary about Renoir. Well, not sure if you're interested in that, but just uh, as an example, before we had an error message here. Now the page is loading. And well, as usual, first you get some advertising, but after the video starts. And now, as you can see, the movie starts. So, well, I cannot show you too much because I will get in trouble with YouTube then. But as you could see, it works. And let's see what happens with 10 play. I'm reloading the page. And as you can see, now I can at least access the website. And let's see what's happening here. The video cloud video was not found. What? And as you can see, now I can also use 10 play. But I cannot show you a lot. But but at yeah, first try, I, it didn't work. Okay. And then I changed my location to Bris Brisbane and now it works. So if you have a problem with one location in this instance with Perth, just choose a different location and then it should work. As I mentioned before, good VPN providers, you can find links below in the description of this video. And in general, you cannot watch Australian television outside of Australia because of geoblocking. It's a form of internet censorship, in my opinion. And uh, you can read up on it on Wikipedia if you're interested. Basically, every website can exactly see where you're entering the internet. So basically, where you are on the planet and they can see a lot more about you. And also your internet service provider, of course, sees everything you're doing on the internet, every website you visit, every video you watch, everything you download, and they're storing this information for several months. The solution for this is a virtual private network, virtual in the sense that you don't have to lay a long cable all the way to Australia, get an Australian internet access and um, use this private network to watch your Australian television. There are software providers that do all this for you in a virtual way, so just through the internet. And you have the choice to circumvent all kind of geo-blocking. So if you want to watch Australian television, you can do that. If you want to watch US television, if you want to watch British television or Indian television, whatever television you want to watch, you can do that with a good VPN. Even Netflix works with the good providers. You can surf the internet fully encrypted and anonymous. So no matter where you are, it makes sense to use a VPN connection. So even if you're in Australia, for example, you should use your VPN because then your internet is fully encrypted and safe, especially if you use free Wi-Fi hotspots, then it's much safer to use a VPN. But I'm not sure if you want to uh, your internet service provider and websites seeing so many things about you and storing the information for a long time. Good VPNs, they don't, st they don't store any data about you. There is an in easy installation on all devices, software and browsers. Um, you can and you can use several connections at the same time. A little problem that occurs when using a VPN is that, for example, if you use a VPN to log into another country and then try to access your Google account, Google will send you a warning that an anonymous person tried to uh, access your Google account from Australia. And then you just have to have in mind that well, that's what you just did. You completely encrypted your internet connection and entered the internet in Australia. And basically Google is just 
proving that you're completely safe anonymous on the internet and then if you want to use google then you just have to tell them yes that was me and verify that it was you and then it shouldn't be a problem anymore what about free vpns of course well many people want f free services on the internet but there's always a big problem because providing internet connections in many countries with fast speeds and the best security possible simply costs money if you don't trust me just google it free vpns dangerous um, here on cnet there's a nice article or on newsweek there's a nice article about severe security risks basically free VPNs are usually slow spam you with a lot of ads and in many cases give hackers the opportunity to hack your device or they use your internet connection for other users and then if they those users do anything illegal on the internet the police will contact you good VPNs have a lot of advantages they have super fast servers in many countries easy to use apps and plugins believe me i tested several vpn providers and the software is always a problem with express vpn i never had an issue though so that's why i'm using it as you could see they do not log any info about you or about your surfing they have high security encryption, unlimited bandwidth, premium websites to work with it. Um, so maybe you, you heard that some VPNs don't work with Netflix anymore or other premium websites like Amazon Prime, Sky TV and so on. But good VPNs circumvent all those problems quite fast and usually it always works. And if it doesn't work, then just choose another server in the same country and Usually that works too. I hope now you can watch Australian TV overseas again. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and have fun watching your Australian TV series from any country in the world.